Everyone always says, Joel, why don't you print practical things? Why don't you print useful things? Why don't you stop printing Pokemon and print normal stuff, awesome stuff, useful things? So I did. I printed one of these. I'm gonna tell you what it is, and we're gonna see if it works. I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. What is this thing? This is a measuring cube. The idea is the cube takes the place of these, these measuring cups, ranging from one cup all the way down to a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, a bunch of these, they take up a lot of space in drawers. Sometimes they get melted because of some reason or another. Sometimes they get lost, they get thrown away, they get broken. So why can't you not only print something that will replace something that is more useful because it takes up less space. All of these should be able to be replaced by this thing, which takes up this much space. And just really quickly, the idea was the, the Sigma that printed this polyalchemy elixir filament, it wasn't printing it hot enough, so it jammed. So I changed the temperature and I printed again and it worked just fine. But we're not here to test this filament, we're here to test this. This is sugar. This is a spoon and the sugar should be able to go into this and we can test to make sure that, for example, this one cup and this one cup are the same. Let's stop talking about it and let's just do it. Let's test it. I mean, a spoonful of sugar does help the medicine go down. No, don't do that. Let's just go for the gusto. Let's go for the big one. This is one cup. And we will fill it with some sugar. Holy cow, a cup of sugar. That is a lot. Okay. Now that we have the sugar in the one cup, let's see if we can pour it into this one cup without making too much of a mess. Okay, uh, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see, but it's super close. It's not, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect cup, but I don't, I don't know if this is a perfect cup, but it's super close. I wasn't expecting that. Well, let's put this back. I, do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. And let's test, let's test a medium sized one. How about this? One eighth cup, <laughs> one eighth cup. Here we go. Much easier to fill, that's for sure. Now we need to find it on here. It's in this section. Here we go, one eighth cup. Ooh, this is, is this a little bit closer? It still has room, I did spill a little bit, but it still has some room to play. In fact, if we were to fill that up, all right, let's do that. All right, so this is what this believes an eighth of a cup is. So if we were to try and pour that in, well, some spilled out. Boy, I'm not very scientific about this. Don't quit your day job, <laughs> whatever that is. Well, it's interesting. I don't think we need to test them all. That's not compelling. But I think what's compelling is that 3D printing is being used to not just replace something you find in your kitchen, something useful. It's made them better. You take up far less space with something like this. And if you're making cookies, it's accurate enough. I, I don't think this something like this would work in some sort of industrial kitchen but uh, this isn't built for an industrial kitchen. This is built for something like you and me, someone at home who could use something like this. People are gonna say though, is it food safe? And even though the FDA has certified some filaments as food safe, or they say they're FDA approved for food safe, no filament is really food safe. And the reason is the filament has to pass through, let's see, the extruder gears, the heat sink, the heater block, the nozzle, there's um, PTFE tubing sometimes in there. That entire process would have to be certified by the FDA to be food safe. And well, it's not. So no filament is technically food safe. What you wanna watch out for is anything liquid or moist. No, don't do that. And anything that gets warm or hot. If you're making cookie cutters out of PLA, ABS, PETG, nylons, it really doesn't matter. Or if you're using regular PLA, ABS, nylons, PETGs, filaments to make something that measures dry goods, you're generally okay. The reason we worry about food safe in filaments is because of the layer lines and if it's a moist thing 
or a wet thing, it can sometimes get caught within these layer lines and then decompose or decay. If you're measuring flour or sugar, or you're using plastics to create cookie cutters that cut cookie dough that's cold, you're not heating it up and you're not applying wet or moist to it. So generally, it's going to be a-okay. Well, if you wanna print yourself your own measuring cube, I found it on Thingiverse and the link is going to be down in the description. I found this to be cool and if you'd like to see more kitchen gadgety sort of things shown on the channel, please leave a comment down below. And if you have an idea, let me know. All right, well, we're gonna call it good right here. The sugar's out, we should probably go make some cookies. But a big thanks for everybody that watches and subscribes to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. Um, a big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon and YouTube Red and PayPal and sponsorship here on YouTube. In fact, my patrons are what allow me to hire Sean as my editor. Thank you, everyone. And uh, I appreciate it when you let the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.